What's good, YouTube? Nandrew94 here to bring you another episode of Ass Anime Studio Simulator. Now, in the last episode, you guys, we did lose Mystery Anime, and I'm fresh out of recording um, Harem Anime right now for episode one of that, which these two episodes will go up on the same day, just at very separate times. Okay? Okay. So with that being said, let's get straight into the action anime. And yes, I will be playing Mystery Anime again on my own, but I will upload the ending for Mystery Anime. Okay, I can't wait. Now that we have our studio, let's assign desks. Yuko and Sumiko should sit next to each other. Because we're sisters, right? Actually, because you're the artists. Well, I was thinking because you're both working on the art. Good point. Hmm, so we have a character artist and a background artist, but we're going to outsource the animation work, correct? Yeah, if we try to handle the animation ourselves! I bet it would turn out wonderful. Is there anything you don't think is wonderful? Yes. Such as? Storms. I don't like thunderstorms. Well, even storms can be pretty sometimes. I rest my case. Anyway, where should we sit? Does it really matter? All the desks are the same. Yuri takes the centermost desk where she can easily look around to see what everyone else is doing. Mayumi and Shunsuke sit at the remaining two. Alright, if anyone has a problem with this arrangement, please let me know. As for Mayumi, since you won't go since you won't have much to do in the planning phase, you can help me with some paperwork for now. This is the one where I'm going to actually go with Mayumi when they start talking about pre-release marketing. Okay? Okay. Okay. Shunsuke, how far along is the scenario for our anime? I love that they give you a thing so you don't accidentally fuck up the name of, like, a name for the anime itself that you are creating. I just finished writing it a few weeks ago, actually. Last weekend, I completed the edits, so I'm pretty happy about it. Sweet, let me have a look. Shunsuke hands over his copy of the scenario. It tells the story of Itaru, a, ma a young man who accidentally stumbles upon an age-old conspiracy hidden deep within the city. He soon finds himself in a race against time to escape his newfound enemies before they silence him permanently. Perfect, it's exactly the way I envisioned it. What do the rest of you think? Wait a minute, I gotta re reread that. Itaru... Age-old conspiracy hidden deep within the city. That literally sounds like something that Assassin's Creed would have came up with. I love it. Looks good to me. I bet I get to design some car chases or scenes, right? Please tell me there are car chase scenes. I'm sure I can find a place for one. The scenario sounds very nice. Underground. Conspiracy. After all, all of our shit's conspiracy theories, right? It's not like we actually have real facts where media can spin something that an idiot said. Ooh. That'll probably be illegal soon, so I'll see you guys in jail. Ooh, okay. An underground conspiracy sounds great. Now, down to business. At our current rate, and considering our funding, we'll probably last one or two months before we get kicked out of this room. That won't exactly be a pleasant experience, but maybe we can finish up before them. I think it's a wise idea to raise additional funds. Which is right. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I've done in the other two episode ones for each anime. It helps that we're bootstrapping, plus none of us will get paid a single cent until the project comes to fruition. Why do you still sound so happy about not getting paid? Because it's already reduced our costs by over 70%. She's right, you know. Well, can you imagine in this day and age, getting a group of people to work on an anime project for free? It's insane! You're talking about us. We are not insane. If we were, would we know? It's not insanity. We don't have any real living costs, since we all still live with our parents. Besides, we just graduated. We have nothing better to do. 
If we survive this, we'd just probably goof off until... If we don't didn't have this, we'd probably just goof off until university starts. Working on this sounds a lot more exciting. Alright, let's not go too off topic here. It's time to get to work. What should we do? Uh, I'll actually have Shinsuke refine the scenario a little bit. Because I have not been doing that lit yet. It's always been sketch the character designs in the backgrounds. And then Yuko winds up having some trouble because of this shit. Shinsuke takes another look at the scenario to tighten and polish the story. Yukari delegates tasks to the others and everyone begins work. Let's go through the basics of the game. Fuck you, tutorial. I know how to play you. Members. Yep, you're all happy and shit. Plot, for some reason, has one and a half stars already. Go into tasks. Raise funds for you. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Just, yeah, just all of that. And that's not all we're doing yet. Because of this, I will continuously check that. I'll move my head over here a little bit. Did check. Okay, plots to an one and a half star. Character development isn't character design, background, animation. You know what? Outsource. Animation. OST. These will be the three at the moment that we are focusing on. We will focus on more. Done. Although the others have their tasks set out for them, Yukari realizes there isn't much she can do in this process, stage in the process. That same goes for Miyumi. Yukari paces in frustration. She can't sit around and do nothing. After taking a moment to think possible things she can do, Yukari decides to... Read books about management. This way she can manage the team and we won't get a bad ending right away for this action anime. Yukari has never been in charge of a team like this before, so she bought a few books on how to be a good leader. She spends the day reading about them, team management, and leadership techniques. Onisama, would you be so kind to buy our flowers? We're helping out the local cancer support organization. What should I do? If it's for charity and I could pay for it personally. We have many flowers. Take your pick. Buy the flowers. Sure, I'll buy a flower. She can pay for it personally. She's not dipping into the funds. I will hold you to that game. Yukari blushes, she, but smiles and hands them the money. They're so happy and they can't stop thanking her. Thank you! See, this is one of the problems I'm having with this game. It's not bad, per se. Like, it's a really good game and I will recommend it to you guys to play. In fact, that's why I keep leaving the game link into the thing because I think they deserve some recognition. However, what they need to start doing, and this is constructive criticism... What they need to start doing is they need to be able to check their stuff. Because, see, this is supposed to be Yukari talking, but the text says schoolgirls are saying this. Don't mention it. Charities are like, like these are very important. I'm just happy I could help out. It is the third day of work on Underground Conspiracy. Yukari looks around the studio and can't help but grin. The team is hard at work. This is exactly what she's always dreamed of. Hey, Yukari, want to get lunch? What? Now? Yeah, I mean, the last two days, you barely ate. Is it really okay for me to leave? I mean, I'm the director. Shinsuke looks up from his work. The rest of us take lunch breaks logically. You can too. Oh, go on. We promise not to burn down the studio. The research has helped set her, help her set aside her guilt. Well, alright. The cafe is crowded, but they're still able to find the place to sit without much difficulty. So what does it feel like? Huh? You're an anime director now. Yeah, I guess I am. It still feels unreal. I have a lot of responsibilities if I want to make Underground Conspiracy a success. Hey, don't forget to relax now and then. I'm bouncing around and I don't know why. What makes you say that? Hey, there's no way they'd actually burn anything down, right? If you're talking, taking Sumiko's jokes seriously, you definitely need to relax. 
Maybe you're right. She leans back in her seat and puts her worries out of her mind. One thing is certain, she can always count on Mayumi to make her feel better. When they return, the studio's quiet. The other three are still hard at work. See, nothing burned. Oops. Aren't you going to have lunch, too? Yuko and I brought f home from food. As for Shunsuke... I think he's a vampire. Seriously? I've never seen you eat. I assure you, I eat. Prove it. Very well, then I will. You could clears her throat, they cut off their argument and look at her. Both look sheepish, although not as much as they should. We've got an anime to work on, remember? Aye, aye. All fine. As ridiculous as it was, their argument gives the studio a light-hearted atmosphere. The rest of the day is punctuated by Sumiko waving crosses at Shunsuke and shoving her compact mirror in his face to check his reflection. Even though he seems so serious and focused, he tolerates her jokes and only gives mock angry comebacks. Watching them makes Yukari smile. Shunsuke was the last member to join the team, so it's good to see him fitting in. The next day, Shunsuke makes good on his promise to prove he actually eats and brings enough food from home to for everyone to share. Party time! Wait, a party? What are we celebrating? Our first week in the studio. Today's only Thursday. We haven't even been here a full week yet. Then I guess we're celebrating you not being a vampire! What did I do to deserve, deserve this? Alright, alright. We can have a party if you want. Yes! There's no harm in it, after all. They're making good progress with an underground conspiracy, and a little celebration will help bolster the team's spirits. After a while, however, Yukari looks around in surprise. They're missing one. What happened to Yuko? Oh, she said she was going to the cafe. How strange. Part of me wants to stay in the studio to see what the, like, dilemma is there, but part of me also doesn't want to stay in the studio because Yuko's just a quiet person. But just in case, because she does seem like that shy, low self-esteem demeanor thing. No offense to any of you who are that. I mean, hell, I'm that half the time myself. When meeting somebody new or anything else like that, I will kind of mentally shut down and, okay, don't be weird, okay, don't be weird, okay, don't be weird. Like, that's literally what's going on in a shy person's head. Like, they are actively telling themselves not to be themselves because they don't want to scare you. So, if you're meeting somebody and you see warning signs of them being shy, be weird. Be yourselves. Please. Yukari finds Yuko in the cafe at a table by herself. She has some papers with her and is sketching character ideas for Underground Conspiracy. Yuko? Oh, is something wrong? No, I just wondered why you left. Oh, it was a little too noisy in the studio. That's all. I wanted to go somewhere quiet so I could concentrate. She returns to her sketching with a smile on her face. Yukari watches her for a moment. She seems happy enough. When they first met, Yukari was worried her withdrawn nature might mean she felt out of place. But maybe she's just quiet. Yuko lifts her head. You don't mind me working here today, do you? No, not at all. As long as you know you're a valued member of the team and a good friend. <laughs> Thank you. Nothing to worry about then. She'll fit in with the team just fine. It's Friday. When Yukari first gathered the team to work on Underground Conspiracy, she made a promise to meet with them to meet up and have dinner together every Friday. Ever since then, they've all made it to this recurring event without fail. What a stroke of luck that Sumiko and Yuko's families own a, class, a classy restaurant like this. I almost said a clusterfuck. Yukari and the others can dine in style with good friends and a discounted bill. The tempura in the shop is always so good. Maybe it's just because I love tempura so much. Don't lie, you're not fooling anyone. Huh? We all know you only started eating it because you watched that cooking anime. You want to be like your favorite character, Yusa, who loves to eat tempura. Embarrassed, Yukari ducks her head. Well, that's true, in a sense. There's no kind of about it. Hey, Yusa may have introduced me to tempura, but now I really love it. I wish my favorite characters introduced me to new foods. She stirs her spoon into her half-melted cup of ice cream and pouts for a moment, but then her expression brightens. 
Speaking of characters, are our characters almost done? How close are we? I'd say we're quite close. We're not close. You can't both be right. They just need a few minor touches here and there, and we should be good. Character designs aren't up to my standards yet. If only I was a better artist. What are you talking about? You're a great artist! The characters don't look natural yet, and something about their proportions is off, and their faces look all wrong. They're fine. I like them, and next week we'll have everyone take another look. God damn it. I hate that decision, because that decision literally kind of guilt trips you. Yuko is a shy person and has low self-esteem, as you just seen there with the whole, um... She doesn't think she's a good artist thing. Shunsuke is more confident as a writer, so you won't, you won't be damaging his reputation or his self-esteem with, um, writing down the, um, with siding with Yuko. However, if you side with Yuko, you could accidentally delay your anime's progress. So decisions like these are hard to make, but they are fun to decide what you want to do with it. Is that okay with you? Okay. Despite her agreement, Yuko gets the feeling Yuko gets the feeling that Yukari isn't happy with her art. If she's a perfectionist, there could be a problem, but they'll deal with that when they get there. When the weekend comes, Yukari finds some free time at last. She wonders if she should get more work done on Underground Conspiracy or take it easy for now. Work on Underground Conspiracy. As much as she'd like to take a break, Yukari doesn't want to fall behind on work. Now that she has a clear idea of understanding of underground conspiracy scenario, she'll be able to translate that into the initial storyboard. She's tired by the end of the weekend, but pleased with her progress. Anime status, look at that. All those stars are going to wind up getting even more stars here soon. I'm going to work on raising funds because I'm literally going to spend a lot here. I'm going to have these two characters. These two sketch characters, and next week have them doodle, and then the following week have them relax. Outsourcing the animation, let's see what the anime status is like. Uh, I should probably be down here. Yeah. Actually, I should be over here, so I don't, like, fuck up the entire thing. Opening and ending and voice acting would be that. Art, character design, and background would be ideal to do, but storyboard. Plus, we've got the tasks delegated where Shunsuke is fixing up the plot and these two are fixing up the background. So I think I figured out if you outsource something, you'll give it a star. If you have the characters doing all of this stuff, you'll give it a half a star at best. So if you work on both outsourcing and and getting the characters to work on the stuff, you can get five stars in each place faster. And I think this is where I'm going to actually start getting better at the game on accident. Okay, outsourcing animation. Uh, yeah, I'll be over here. That way I can click on this and check what we need. Let's see, storyboard, which we're not working on right now. So, storyboard. Anime status, character development. Tsunsuke is working on a plot, so we'll have a two-star the next time I choose that. Character design and background. And, you know what? Opening and ending. Because Mayumi's already working on the OST. Right now. Outsource. We have 15 bucks. That's not good, but it's not bad either. At least this way the anime status actually does improve over time. Like see? Two stars, one star, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, one star, one star, one and a half. You guys see what I'm talking about here? This is how we're going to figure out a way to improve the game to where it just automatically has all five stars and the anime can be a fucking hit. And I'm going to do this with the harem anime route too that went up today called Good Chemistry. Or Mad Chemistry, sorry. On Monday, you could spend some time going through the scenario for Underground Conspiracy. Then she gathers everyone together to look at the character designs.
think they're fine. I don't see any major flaws. What do the rest of you think? Well... Uh-oh, dramatic pause from Shunsuke. Here comes trouble. Yukari fidgets silently and braces herself. There's nothing wrong with constructive criticism, but if he presents issues with the art poorly, it could cause, tro cause their team's first major disagreement. Personally speaking, the character designs aren't really what I had in mind. I'm not saying the design is bad, but the art style doesn't go well with the scenario I wrote for Underground Conspiracy. I mean, you look, made Ataru look like a secret agent. Yeah, he's not wrong. But maybe he can reach that point eventually, but maybe not in the first season. Season? Aren't you getting ahead of yourself? Well, we should redo these design, designs so they display the character's traits and fit the story better. I'm agreeing with Shunsuke this time, guys. Because in the harem one, we sided with Yuko. I know the designs need to be refined, but I can't completely redo them all. It took me a long time to get the designs right, and I had trouble choosing the art style for Underground Conspiracy. Well, the one you chose just doesn't work. Art style and references have never been a problem for me before, but I was usually drawing fan art. I guess I need to improve fast. But if I have to redo all the character designs, you go fall silent. You're worried about the deadline, aren't you? Yes, I don't know if I can redo them in time. Yukari should be the one to decide. She's the one in charge. Hmm, each side has good points, but with a limited budget and limited time, Yukari can only make this decision carefully. Shad with Sunjuke for now. Shinsuke's right. While they have may have a tight deadline to finish two episodes of Underground Conspiracy, Yukari decides it's best to work with a form foundation instead of a shaky one. The character designs need to be redone to match the scenario, or else the product, project's value will be ultimately lowered. You could either have something I have to tell you. What is it, Shinsuke? You can tell me anything. I've been scouted by Pokemo. Pokemi. No! Pokemi is well established and offers excellent chances for career advancement. I want to tell you that I'm considering the offer, thinking to herself, oh no, we can't let finish Underground Conspiracy if Shinsuke takes another job. What should I do? I don't want to bribe him because he doesn't seem like the person that would take the bribe. But it did give us, like, a dollar. I'm going to assume Shinsuke gets over it. Because think about it. That would be perfect on his aunt, on, like, the resume. So, writer of this game, beware. I am criticizing you when I finish it. I will also be criticizing each thing individually. Now that we've straightened out the scenario and character designs for Underground Conspiracy, why don't we try to do some pre-release marketing? Pre-release marketing? You know, like how other anime series has always started building hype. Yeah. We, have, we all know this one. I've already sided with Shinsuke. He'd Mayumi's advice. Sorry, Shinsuke, but I agree with Mayumi. We already got a lot on play. We don't want to f cause feature creep to for underground conspiracy. On Friday afternoon, Yukri meets up with Mayumi to do research for underground conspiracy. The two of them head over to the nearest animate store. Hey, this is where we are in the last in the harem episode. So without with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like down below. Comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, have a wonderful day!